This is the August 3rd edition of Gunfighter News. I'm Airman First Class, Jay Legate. An expansion of the base's airspace has put the Mountain Home Range Complex on par with the more renowned complexes at Nellis and Hill Air Force Bases. After nearly a decade of coordination, Mountain Home Air Force Base's aerial training range has been expanded by more than 2,000 square miles. Commander of the 366th Operations Group, Colonel Christopher Sage, led an inaugural flight of two F-15s into the new airspace to mark the occasion. The new airspace will provide aircrew more opportunities to experience real-world training scenarios, as well as conduct concurrent training operations and large force engagements. In other news, more than 100 gunfighters are preparing for a TDY next week. The 389th Fighter Squadron is tackling preparations for their trip to Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana, where they will participate in the Green Flag exercise. The two-week exercise gives both airmen and soldiers a chance to integrate their forces and simulate combat situations in a deployed environment. This is important to airmen from Mountain Home as it's one of their few opportunities to build camaraderie with the Army unit they will most likely deploy alongside in the future. Green Flag also allows gunfighters a chance to showcase their talents in close air support training. Now let's have a look at some Mountain Home moments. 366th Operations Group Commander Colonel Christopher Sage speaks to media representatives prior to the first flight in the Mountain Home Range Complex's new airspace. 366th Fighter Wing Commander Colonel Christopher Short throws the opening pitch for the Operation Warm Heart Softball Tournament. The proceeds from the tournament will benefit needy airmen and their families with things such as offsetting the cost of plane tickets when a family member passes away. Members of the 366th Medical Group received in-place patient decontamination training. The purpose of the training was to prepare the IPPD team to respond to chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear catastrophes. For more information about what's going on around base, you can visit mountainhome.af.mil, facebook.com slash mountainhome.af.mil, and youtube.com slash 366FW. And that's it for this week's Gunfighter News. I'm Airman First Class, Jay Leegate.